Hello, and welcome back to Mushi Room, the game I'm developing in the Godot game engine. Over the past few weeks, I've been working on overhauling Mushi's AI, and while it's still an ongoing process and there's still a few quirks to iron out, it's working really well, so I thought I'd hop on and show everybody what's new. So previously I showed that Mushi would need to eat food and that you could feed him using a bowl with food that you cook in the cooking pot, but now I added a way for Mushi to actually seek out food and eat it himself. I think this is interesting because it enhances the idea that Mushi is sort of this autonomous agent and that you're just facilitating his life rather than taking care of him completely. I haven't really decided if I want to leave in the manual feeding or not. For now, both ways work, and that's how I'll keep it, at least for a little while longer. And as you can probably tell from the footage, I've also added a couple of other objects that Mushi can interact with. There's a bed now where he can recover his energy as he sleeps, and a toy car that he can play with, and a book that he can read, both for the purposes of increasing his fun. The system that I've got implemented now also makes it really easy to add new objects that fulfill different needs and have different actions that Mushi can do. So that's really good moving forward. This update took me a pretty long time, partially because the system that I had before for Mushi interacting with the world was really basic and limited, and I knew I would need to expand it at some point, but I just kind of left it in as I worked on different things. And then when it came time to expand upon it, I wasn't entirely sure where to go. Eventually, I checked out some behavioral tree options for Godot, some add-ons and some video tutorials, and that seemed like a pretty solid solution. But then I stumbled upon some tutorials and add-ons for Utility AI, which I thought worked really well. Now, if you're not familiar with Utility AI, I strongly recommend either searching up a YouTube video or checking out an article like this one. It will go into much more detail about how it works, but essentially it's a needs system for agents and they weigh out different kinds of needs against parameters that you set and take an action accordingly. I actually found a really great video on Utility AI by a YouTuber called This Is Vinny. In the video, he explains thoroughly how he implemented Utility AI and what it is. He also has a link to his GitHub, which has a download for his implementation of it, which is what I'm actually using in Mushi Room now. I'll have a link down in the description for the video if you're interested, it's really great. And that about covers the updates for Mushi Room. This took a lot of work, but I'm really excited about how much easier it'll be in the future to add new actions and add new items. As always, I want to give an extra special thanks to the Patreons who support this channel. Thank you so much. And also thanks to everyone who watches these videos and comments and likes them. I really appreciate you all. So thanks for watching and until next time.